so this time here is a short guide on php my admin through php my admin we can access my sql database graphically uh, this is the login screen of php my admin with fqdn with ssl from Raxos tab and after login you will get the screen of php my admin and on the right hand side uh, there are the uh, details of the server uh, it is ihl with apache 2.2 so with the latest version of MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. Uh, official links are also there. Uh, you can change the theme if you want. And here are the shortcuts. If you click the database name, uh, the tables will show up. I have used a custom database name with prefix that is a uh, dr instead of wp is normally wp uh, this thing is actually chosen when the wordpress is installed you can see it in normal example we have shown with wp the wp options but here is dr options And in our website, in this guide, basically you will find which tables are important for export. There is no need to export all the database tables blindly. Instead, you can install WordPress in new server freshly and replace the blank new database with older backup. This is one by one, replacing one by one database tables. And it is this is the master's choice if you click the browse tool you can examine the rows if you select and click export in this case you can export in sql format be sure to select all the tables. And this is the method of choice for export. We can open the SQL as text file, copy it, and run as query to add a new database. And we can check the where is the error. In case of it is somehow there is error, we can check it the text file is the major importance of exporting as SQL format. You can see there is a lot of rows which has opened as text file. This is the method we usually follow uh, to import a table or database as a whole. Uh, in our case, it is really saved as a SQL file. Uh, here it is, and just choose it. We are now choosing here, and we have to just click go, and it will be executed and done. This field is for running MySQL queries. Just here I'll say one part that is you can copy as the old database to restore, and another part is to run certain MySQL comments. Like in this case. And there are other parts like the operations so 
synchronize and the synchronize is actually for master server application for creating a scalable mysql database we have separate guide on that work and here you actually it is uh, advanced usage and this tab shows the various other details but here is the settings here lot of details here runtime information and if there is a replication active you will get the information as well these parts are actually not needed for normal usage or uh, normal usage is limited to optimize import and export there is actually no uh, xql uh, ssl negotiation because actually it is a database and not uh, publicly accessible over the internet so there is actually no negotiation there the only process you can see here and if you select all the files and be careful not to select drop it's a dangerous command to delete all the tables together and we are up to anything here We have said before uh, we can run uh, any custom MySQL uh, query. We have to copy just the required uh, MySQL command query actually, and we need to properly correct it because, for example, in this case. It is not WP, the database name is um, starts with DR. If I do not correct it, it will go error. There is another DR. So again error now it is stop here now it will run okay yes you can see and now we get in the bulk export this is most frequently done this bulk export and you can create any a new uh, database from here, the table from here. Now for box, you have to select all the tables, click export, and you can use any computation format if you want. 